Welcome to the next session in the technical writing training program. In this session, we are going to talk about styles, style guides and their importance. What is a style? Can you define style? So let's start with the presentation. Okay, maybe it could be an interesting idea to write down as we just discussed, what is your definition of style? So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to write that definition. And here is a clue for you, if you want. James Bond movies, what do you remember about a James Bond movie? Can you quickly write down in a couple of minutes and pause this cassette here? Okay. I assume that uh, you have written it down. So keep that definition of style handy. When we go to that slide, you can compare your definition and the one that I have written. So let's talk about James Bond movie. What do you think of when you talk about or when you recollect a James Bond movie? So now you can see the slide with the points. James Bond movie will obviously have James Bond, which is a nice looking, heavily built, healthy, smart, tall hero. They will also have good looking Bond women car chases, international criminals and lot of action stunts. I know you can include things like electronic gadgets, lettuce cars and so on and so forth. Yes. Let's go ahead to the next slide. Charlie Chaplin movies. Now these are the points that probably would have come to your mind when I said Charlie Chaplin. Tramp, that is a character with short trousers, tight coat and a hat. A light anywhere matchstick, his behavioral styles, you know, his walking style, his bending style, his style of removing the cap, creating humor and generally ending with tears. Nobody has been able to mix humor with tears as effectively as Charlie Chaplin has. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, let's talk about some Desi movies here. So, Chopra movies. Typical recipe, love triangle, romance, good music and a very hit star cast. Let's study one more. Rajeshree production movies, family drama, generally no villain. In most cases, no violence either. Concentrating on family values, though very plus setups, great sites for shooting, especially for songs and excellent music. We will go to the next slide. Let us look at some more examples. Sherlock Holmes, a character created by Arthur Conan Doyle, 221B Baker Street, a fictitious address which now actually has a Sherlock Holmes museum. Sherlock Holmes and Watson, Watson was the name that the author took to himself as a character in the stories, crimes and investigation, the whimsical behavior of Sherlock Holmes, the unpredictable behavior of Sherlock Holmes, a mystery revealed at the end of the story. Many times the mystery or the revelation of mystery comes to you as a shock and once the mystery is revealed, the logic that the author explains seems so natural that you say, how come I did not guess it earlier, right? Okay, let us look at one more example. Malgudi Days by R.K. Narayan. If you are from India, you would have definitely watched this TV serial or read this book. What is so special about Malgudi Days? It is a story that happens in a small village in India where you have a little hero. His name is Swami. He is a kid, a school going kid. He has got his simple problems and the serial generally focuses on world of children where adults only come as a supportive star cast. The children actually build the whole story. The story revolves around the hero and his entire uh, team of children, his playmates, his game mates. With this in the background, let us now talk about style. What was your definition of style? Okay, now look at my definition. What is my definition? You can read it on the slide. Style, 
presentation and manipulation of elements to make them appealing styles are medium dependent creator mastered yet often copied i have not seen many people who have copied somebody else's style to have got great success most of the successful styles are mastered by their own creators and they become successful because of their own styles if you see the bollywood if you look at the various successful actors in bollywood each of them has their own style they have specialized it and they have made it their brand so to say what is a style mix let's go to the next slide and see a style mix is actually a combination of styles put together so the example that we looked at in the beginning of this presentation which included james bond movies uh charlie chaplin movies rajeshree production movies yash chopra movies all of them have effectively made use of what we call as a style mix so style mix is a combination of styles that become successful style mix will depend on the deliverable and the media used style mix takes more time to conceptualize it's extremely difficult to implement at times style mix is more detailed than styles and hence is more risky it is flexible but yet it is stable style mix guarantees you long term success once it is successful so you'll not see most of these masters changing their style mix you'll not see a james bond movie that will not have action stunts that will not have james bond for that matter you'll not see a charlie chaplin movie which does not have humor you'll not see a yash chopra production film which will not have good music and so on because they have all led to a successful combination of style mix why so let's look at the next slide and find out all right so let's look at slide number 10 this is the very basic of why styles are required styles help you to form or in a few cases even spoil a relationship well when you form a good relationship style helps you to sell style creates an identity for you or let's say your work it creates a brand it makes you stand out from others styles can help you to make money can art be standardized yes it can be if it cannot be then none of the examples that i gave you earlier would have been successful all of them are maintaining a particular style mix now how can art be standardized using what we call as the style guide a style guide exists for all these products or all these brands that we just talked about maybe there is a style guide for a james bond movie we don't have it but maybe the producer has it maybe the director has it so unless there is a action stunt the james bond movie will not be published unless there was a mystery the sherlock holmes story could not have been written and so on today ian fleming is no more however James Bond movies are still being produced they are produced on the basis of the stories that Ian Fleming has written but then somebody else is writing the scripts for these movies and they are making sure that they are using a particular style guide so there is even today though Ian Fleming is not there his work his creation which is James Bond continues to sell let's talk about technical writing and styles if a group of writers is working on a project or in an organization there could be a number of times when inconsistencies would would creep into the work what could be the factors leading to them let's look at the slide we are on slide number 11 the time difference in working schedules maybe somebody working in the morning somebody working in the evening somebody working in india somebody working in us geographical separation tools with too many features well i could use a particular feature of word and present my text in a in say one format another writer could use a different feature maybe a different font a different kind of highlighting colors and so on and present his content differently and then if you are working in the same organization if both the documents are 
seen together or if both the chapters are pasted in the same document, the end user may get confused because of the inconsistencies. Experience level of writers. Even with the experience level of writers, there could be a lot of changes in the writing style. The experienced writers may end up writing in very concise and succinct form, whereas the inexperienced writers could lead to a lot of verbose statements. This can be avoided. And finally, the tendency or I would say uh, the desire of the writer to go out of the way and try something new. If every writer tries things like that, it could lead to a chaos in a document. To avoid all this, companies develop style guides. We call them as corporate style guide. There are many industry standard style guides as well. I would like to name a few for your record. And we will go to the next slide for this. If you want to work in the IT industry, I would recommend you to buy this particular document. This is the Microsoft Manual of Style for Technical Publications. There is one more which is published by Sun. It is called as Read Me First. Both these documents could be very useful to you for writing user and technical documentation for IT applications. Well, there are a few other documents which are about generic English and you will find them to be useful as well. For example, you should read these two documents. First is the Chicago or Chicago Manual of Style. Second is a wonderful book called as Elements of Style written by Strunk and White. If you search for these keywords on the internet, you may hit their websites and you will find lot of interesting information over there. The Chicago Manual of Style website allows you to ask questions which their experts will answer. So you can ask them questions or your doubts about grammar, punctuation, use of hyphens and so on and so forth and they will be able to answer it. Chicago Manual of Style is one of the oldest manuals uh, written about writing styles. It is being used by a number of publications as a reference document. Let us go to the next slide. Here we talk about what can a style include or what can a style guide include. Well, let us focus on the slide. A style guide can, can include language guidelines which will include correct sentences, incorrect sentences, maybe use of numbers, use of punctuation marks, hyphens and so on. Formatting guidelines, maybe formatting guidelines for different heading levels in a document. Structure guidelines, so maybe something like what chapter should come first, what chapter could, should come second whether a document is to be indexed or not and so on. Graphic guidelines which can include how graphics should be taken, how should they be placed, should they be illustrated using callouts, how should they be aligned, will it be the left alignment, will they be indented, should a graphic have a caption, how should a company logo be used, where should it be pasted and what color it should be used and so on. You can have process guidelines, so things like review checklist, a checklist that a writer should use for reviewing somebody else's work or even a quality checklist which has to be checked before you actually release a document. We will go to the next slide. Here we talk about the advantages of style guides. So I want you to focus on this slide. Style guides help in achieving tangible results in definite time. Style guides help you to reduce the total writing time taken because there is no trial and error or experimentation and quality control becomes simplified. Style guides address many issues, we earlier talked about it, graphics, language, grammar, punctuation and so on. Style guides form guidelines for accepting and rejecting somebody's work. So one cannot say that alright, whatever I write always gets rejected and whatever he writes always gets accepted. You can simply illustrate the difference, this is acceptable, this is not acceptable. So there is a clear cut demarcation and that can avoid a lot of confusion and tensions. Let us go to the next slide and this is going to be interesting. Okay, look at the slide. Do you know this man? Well, I will be surprised if you knew. Let us go to the next slide. This one may be Spider Man, you are right. Now the surprise, can you guess? That's right, this is the creator of Spider-Man, his name is Stan Lee. So Stan Lee is the author of Spider-Man 
and finally the big surprise stanley was a technical writer stanley worked for the us army in signal corps during world war 2 he used to write technical manuals and scripts for training films he later created the character called spider man all the stories that you read about spider man though actually may not be written by him because somewhere somebody has written a spider man style guide so stanley though must have written the original stories but now other authors are using the style guides to prepare the comics the detailed scripts and write stories about more and more adventures of spider man that was interesting wasn't it with this slide we come to the end of this particular session thank you <laughs>